Hi, our prayer today is focused on two verses of the scripture from Zechariah's prophecy. These are the words he sang and spoke when his little baby, John, was presented at the temple. By the tender mercy of our God, the dawn from on high will break upon us to give light to those who sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the ways of peace. I invite you to close your eyes and to breathe in deeply and to release your breath, to breathe in, to let go. To breathe in and to release all those knots that are in your shoulders. And just think about those words. The dawn from on high will break upon us. The dawn from on high will break upon us. Holy One, we ask you to give light. Give light to those places that seem really dark right now. Surround the people who are lonely. Surround those who are feeling that Christmas just is not what they wanted. Because it brings up all those memories. Be with them. Surround them with your light. We ask you to give light to those in this world right now who are suffering. There have been so many natural disasters this year brought on by climate change. Be with the people, those who are being flooded, those who are in places where drought is stealing all their food. Those who are forced to flee their homes that bring your light. God, bring your light into those dark places where people are struggling with addiction. And the holidays make it worse. Lord, bring your light. And God, we ask you to be with those who are sitting in the shadows of death. Healthcare workers around the world have been so swamped this year. They continue to be swamped with people who are suffering from COVID. Be with those those healthcare professionals, the doctors and nurses and aides, the chaplains and all those who are feeling overwhelmed. And be with those families in grief. Here in the United States, 800,000 people have died from COVID in the last two years. And that doesn't even include deaths by natural causes. So God, be with those who are grieving. The loss of a parent, a grandparent, a brother, a sister, a close friend. Be with those and their families as they walk through the valley of the shadow of death. And Holy One, we ask you to guide our feet in the ways of peace. Bring peace to your people. 
bring peace to us. Calm those tensions that have drove us apart and away from each other. Calm those conflicts where fights continue to break out. Holy One, guide our feet in the ways of peace. Amen.